Manhattan's Beresford Hotel, where the rich and famous can always be seen. Mr. Marshall, is it true you're running for senator? It was Marissa Ventura's job to go unnoticed. A Beresford maid is expedient. Excuse me, that needs pressing. A Beresford maid stares with a smile. Maria, excuse me, what do you think? Dolce coat, Ralph Lauren skirt. She's a maid. Oh, excuse me. And above all, a Beresford maid strives to be invisible. <gasps> I had no idea anyone was here. Don't worry, Mr. Monty. It's no big deal. <laughs> live it, girl. I, I, I live it. But when you least expect it. Nice. Put it back. Not too tried on. His name's Rufus. I'm Chris. I know who you are. Yeah? What do you know? You're running for senator. I love this kid. Fate can open the door. It's Ty. I'm talking about Ty. Don't he? Hello. Hi. This is Chris. He's got a giant gray dog. I'm going to go walk with him, OK? Come with us, if your husband wouldn't mind. Um... She doesn't have a husband. I don't have a husband. Come on, let's go. <laughs> now. You always stay at the Beresford? Sometimes I feel like I live there. The girl that was invisible. Who's this? Well, I'll tell you who she is, and she isn't like anyone I've ever met before, and she isn't a phony. <laughs> is all he can see. He thinks I'm a guest. This could be bad. Oh, don't tell me you're fooling for the guy. It's complicated. If only he could figure out who she is. She's about 5'6", really beautiful. Just find her, please. You want to be a New York State Senator? You got to play the game. I'll make you a deal. You want me at the benefit tomorrow night? Then get her to go. What am I doing, Steph? This is a lie. It's more like a dream. Tonight, the maid is a lie. This is who you really are. You know well, I only came to tell you that this can't go anywhere beyond this evening. And you should have worn a different dress. No matter who you are, <laughs> destiny will find you. I let him think that I was staying in the suite, not cleaning it. I'm the maid type. Ma, I hate to break it to you, but I don't think he's after your money. I can't believe you said that. <laughs>
impressed. You kidding me? I come here all the time. Well, color me happy. There's a sofa in here for two. Close your mouth, dear. Who is this girl here? Does she work? She's in sales. Touchstone Pictures presents the story of a date. Isn't a date, it's business. That led to a deal. I have a business proposition for you. I'm going to be in town until Sunday. I'd like you to spend the week with me. <laughs> That's becoming a dream come true. Time to shop. Get rid of your gum. All right. I don't believe you did that. You're going to be spending an obscene amount of money in here. So we're going to need a lot more help sucking up to us because that's what we really like. Oh. You understand me? Sir, if I may say so, you're in the right store and the right city, for that matter. There are two people who have no business being together. Everybody is trying to land him. Well, I'm not trying to land him. I'm just using him for sex. Just doing a little business. <laughs> Company I'm buying this week, I'm getting for the bargain price of about one billion. A billion dollars? Your folks must be really proud, huh? Everything was going their way. Well done! Well done! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Until... I don't want you to go. You hurt me. Yes. Don't do it again. Something unexpected happened. What the hell is wrong with you this week? You fell in love with him? Did I not teach you anything? Look, I'm not stupid, okay? I'm... I'm not in love with him. They can find you an apartment and get you a car. I want more. I want the fairy tale. I think you are a very special woman. You're the dream. Touchstone Pictures presents Richard Gere. So what happened after? He climbed up the tower and rescued her. Julia Roberts. She rescues him right back. Pretty woman. Maybe you guys could, like, um, get a house together. Buy some diamonds. Oh! <laughs>
That is Mr. Darcy. He looks miserable, poor soul. Miserable he may be, but poor he most certainly is not. Do you dance, Mr. Darcy? Not if I can help it. What on earth have you done to poor Mr. Darcy? I have no idea. I do not have the talent of conversing easily with people I have never met before. Perhaps you should practice. May I have the next dance, Miss Elizabeth? It would be most inconvenient since I've sworn to loathe him for all eternity. You may. <gasps> He's so rich. By heavens, this is what a snob you are. Focus Features presents the story of a modern woman. Mr. Darcy is engaged to my daughter. Do you think this union can be prevented by a young woman of inferior birth? Who discovered the one person she cannot stand is the one man she may not be able to resist. Can you expect me to rejoice in the inferiority of your circumstances? From the first moment I met you, your arrogance made me realize that you were the last man in the world I could ever marry. Do you not think him a handsome man? Yes, I dare say he is. From the producers of Bridget Jones's Diary and Love Actually. He's been a fool, but then so have I. We are all fools in love. Kira Knightley, Matthew McFadden, Brenda Blethen, Donald Sutherland, and Judy Dench. You have bewitched me, body and soul. I thought she didn't like him. So did I. So did we all. Pride and Prejudice.